how to speak to the cells of your body and actually have your body listen and change. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliet Cleary. I'm a law of attraction coach. And if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe and tap the bell. Today, I want to teach you the basics of how to speak to your body, how to speak to the cells of your body and allow them to create the change that you're looking for. I've had quite a few questions about this, so I thought that I would clear it up in this video. If you've been watching some of my videos, you'll know that I use this technique to create change in my body. I talk to my body and I've, I've mentioned it uh, for growing my breasts. I've mentioned it for a few different things that I talk to my body and then my body listens and creates that change. Firstly, I want to say that your body is always listening, but your body is not listening to your words. It is listening to your vibration and consistently responding to that. And I'm going to talk a bit about that uh, in the, further along in the video. So here are four tips to help you with speaking to your body in order to change it. Tip number one, make sure you're in alignment first. Now, if you're not completely familiar with the term alignment, it means joy. It means who you naturally are. You are connected to yourself, your inner being and the universe when you are in alignment. And you know you're in alignment by the way you feel. You feel joyful, you feel ease, you feel excited, exhilarated. All those positive emotions mean that you are in alignment and that is the best time to do this process. Now you can do it consistently all during your day, whenever you feel inspired, but make sure you're feeling relaxed or positive emotion at that time. And doing this before bed, before you go to sleep at night is a really good time to do this process because you are winding down and you are more relaxed than you are during your day. I mentioned this step for all of the processes, alignment first and then do the process. When you're in alignment, that is where your power is. That is where all your creation power is. That is where your leverage is. That is where you have the power of the universe on your side and working through you in that moment. If you were to do this process when you weren't feeling very good or maybe feeling a lot of negative emotion or lack or desperation, etc., you're not going to get the results that you want. If you know anything about law of attraction, it is about positive emotion. It is about emotion at its core. It is about how you feel. So you want to make sure that you're feeling good before you do any kind of process. Being in alignment is also known as being in the receiving mode. That is the vibration that allows you to receive what you want. So always doing processes when you are already in alignment is incredibly powerful. I mean, there is nothing in comparison. You could not take enough action when you're out of alignment and get as amazing results as you would if you took just a little bit of action when you are in alignment. That's how powerful it is. Step number two, practice the art of self-talk and self-soothing. This is really important. I've had quite a few people asking me what specific words did I say to my body to change it? And what specific words or phrases should they say to their body to change it? And what I really want to drive home here is it is not about the words. It is only about the vibration. Haven't you ever heard anyone talking about law of attraction? The universe is not responding to your words. It is responding to your vibration behind the words. And it is the same with your body. Your body is not responding to your specific words, but the vibration when you speak them. And what that means is that you are to find words or phrases, affirmations, sentences, whatever you want to call it. You are to find words that create a feeling of self soothing, of self belief. You want to emit a positive vibration because I've had some people say, well, some 
some law of attraction teachers say you have to say I am already this or my body is already this um, way. Um, but that's just not true. You can say I want, I want the cells of my body to do this. I want my body to change. It is whatever feels best to you. So you want to get into this consistent habit of self-talk, positive self-talk and self-soothing. So when you're speaking to your body and you want to change it, say you want to uh, lose weight. Say you want to lose weight. Instead of saying body or cells, I want you to lose weight right now. If saying that creates resistance within you, then in that moment, you can't allow the manifestation. You can't allow the positive change to begin occurring. You're blocking it. So finding a way to speak to your body whilst soothing yourself is the biggest thing. That's the most important part. Please let me know in the comments below if this is confusing for you and I can really go into this point further. So for example, you can still be specific. You can still talk to your body and tell it what you want. Say, I would love for my body, for the cells of my body to grow larger breasts. And after that, what I would suggest you do especially if you don't really fully believe that in the moment you say it is to soothe yourself because again your body your body knows what you want and is responding just like the universe does but you have to soothe yourself to allow it to allow it to manifest so after telling your body to make this change speak to the cells of your body say i know that you can do this I know that you are capable of doing anything. I know how intelligent you are. I know how powerful you are. So you're sending a lot of love and appreciation to yourselves, to your body. And at the same time, you are soothing yourself into believing this and allowing it. You're, you're soothing yourself into a more alignment so that you can actually receive and notice some changes, which is what I'm going to talk about next. But bottom line, is that it doesn't matter what words you use or how specific you are or how general you are. Your body and the universe already knows what you want and is done for you. So just choose words or affirmations that make you feel good. Your emotions are your guidance system. You know that anything that feels good, anything that feels like ease or relief or joy, you know that that is right for you. That's how you know that you are on the right track. Step three, talking to your body can help you believe that you can change it. So make self-talk and self-soothing to your body and to yourself a habit. Make it a consistent everyday habit and it is going to help you. The more you talk to your body, the more in, in a positive way, the more you are convincing yourself and your mind, as well as your body, that you can do this, that you can have this thing that you want. But just the mere fact that you are making that effort to speak to your body consistently means that you kind of believe that it's going to do something. And the more you do that, the more you believe it. The more you are soothing yourself, the more you are becoming aligned, the more you have clarity and then you have access to answers, to solutions, to manifestation. I talked about this a little bit in my video on how I changed my menstrual, my, my monthly periods to become less painful. I gradually just talked to my body and just, I was almost, I was talking to my body but I was also convincing myself that I could have a different experience than I was having and it worked. So it was just that little bit of consistent self-soothing, self-talk and I began to really believe it and then it manifested. Tip number four is make it a habit of self-love. Lovingly speak to your body. Appreciate your body. How many of us 
every single day are just cursing at our bodies for being the way they are right now if it's not satisfying whether it's for health or we just don't like the way we look or the way we feel in our bodies we are just constantly tormenting ourselves and abusing our bodies speaking such hate feeling such negative emotion towards the body I mean what do you think that does to the body it creates more things that are going to make you feel that way and it doesn't allow the change that you want so remember when you're speaking to your body and you're making this a habit speak lovingly I mean this is you this is your body and it does so much for you and for the most part it is functioning incredibly well and doesn't it make sense that while you're feeling so crappy about yourself and your body and your appearance that it just wouldn't change it can't change because you have that vibration of I don't like this I don't like my body so you can't manifest that change no matter how much you are just yelling at your body to change and so that's what I want to bring up as well when you're speaking to your body don't tell it you know don't order it you have to change and don't come from that negative place lovingly lovingly suggest things and with so many people with so many different things we are not consistent we do things once or twice and then we say well why didn't it work you will get better at this this will become more natural to you and when you do begin to feel more positive emotion as you are speaking to yourself and speaking to the cells of your body the law of attraction kicks in and will give you more to appreciate about your body that's how it works you know that's how it works make sure when you're talking to yourself and talking to your body not to be harsh or critical or ordering your body to do certain things in order for you to be happy speak with kindness treat your body and yourself as well as you would your pet your dog or your cat something that you love unconditionally that's how you should be feeling about yourself and really I know that it seems like what you really want are these specific changes in your body and your appearance but what you really want is to feel good you want to feel good about you you want to love your body and you don't need these manifestations in order to do this you can do this from where you are and then the manifestations are inevitable so many things in life of you know go out and get it make it happen you know it's not going to just come to you make it happen and so with the law of attraction and you know what I'm teaching is I'm really trying to get you to change your thinking you know for probably most of your life you've believed that I need to go out and make it happen I need to go take action otherwise nothing good could come to me and the same thing for your appearance or your body but it's not true you have to kind of shift that thinking don't try to make it happen let it allow it to happen as soon as you get into that mode of I'm gonna make this happen there's a little bit of resistance there's a little bit of trying too hard there's a bit of struggle and effort involved and what you need to understand about the law of attraction and the way that the world works is actually through ease it's through ease it's not through struggle haven't you noticed that some things in your life you were trying you were trying to get to the bottom of something you were trying desperately to fix something and then once you just let it go everything unfolded it came to you I'm sure there's something that you can find in your life whether it's big or whether it's small that shows you the evidence of when you've relaxed and when you found alignment when you are at ease you received a solution it's like being in that problem-solving mode you just can't get to the end of the problems because as you're focusing on problems to fix and problems to fix like with your body and with your appearance guess what that's where your focus is you're gonna have more problems to fix so it's time to stop trying so hard to make it happen and force it into your reality and allow it into your reality naturally and normally and effortlessly as it should and so when you're speaking to your body make sure that you're not doing it from that place of I'm trying to make this happen 
this is urgent, I feel desperate. Just, you know, I mean, if you're really, really feeling that way, it might not be the best time to start doing this process. Find a way to get into alignment, find a way to feel more relaxed and at ease, possibly during or after meditation is maybe a time when you want to be speaking to your body, when you want to be doing this process, if you're feeling a lot of resistance around it. All right, that's it for today. I hope this helped you. Please make sure to subscribe and tap the bell if you wanna see more videos like this. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so I know if it helped you. And have a beautiful day.